Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, the value of credit reports. This is standard 6.14F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Miss Versini is applying for a car loan. She's actually getting it from a bank. Sometimes you can get it from a bank. Sometimes if you go to a car dealership, they have their own financing available. It's always good to kind of ask around and see who's got the best interest rate for you. But before that bank gives Miss Versini a car loan, they are going to look at her credit report and we need to figure out why it's important well what is on the credit report well the most important thing on the credit report is going to be all of your accounts so it's just a central place that has all of your accounts open so all the loans that you currently have all the credit cards that you currently have anything in which you've got an account open with some type of company and a lot of people besides major credit cards clothing stores grocery stores even amazon has credit cards so all of these places are listed on this one place and it's got your account balance so they want to know do you have ten thousand dollars in debt already do you have a hundred thousand dollars in debt already or are you I have no debt and this is your very first car loan that's going to be very important to the bank and that's why it's on the credit report you're also going to get inquiry information and so a soft inquiry is just when you want to check your own credit score that doesn't affect anything but sometimes you get a hard inquiry and that's when a place is looking at your uh, credit report just like this bank right here and too many of those will actually make your credit score dip a little bit because it means that you're trying to open up a whole bunch of accounts. And then finally, if you ever get uh, any bankruptcies, which are not good, that means you're running out of money, or you have any uh, collection agencies. So you owe something, maybe a gas bill, maybe a credit card report, a credit card bill, and you won't pay, you won't pay, you won't pay. This. So there are companies that all they do is they try to get money from you. They're called collection agencies. And if you have any of your accounts with a collection agency, that shows up. And that's going to be very negative. So all of this gets you one number. A credit score. So that's what this bank officer is most likely looking for. And it goes from 0 to 8. 50. And this is awesome. So the higher, the better. If you get 850, you basically have perfect credit. So let's look at our answer choices here. F. The report shows the likelihood that Ms. Versini will pay back the entire loan on time. Because if the bank is loaning you money, that's what they want. They want the entire loan paid back. They don't want you to go bankrupt. They don't want their loan to have to go to a collection agency because then they're going to have to pay the collection agency and they want it done on time. So yeah, the higher credit score, the better. And if you have really high credit score, you're probably going to pay it back on time. That's one thing you can definitely get from this. Let's see what G is. The report shows the highest level of education. Nope. It does have personally identifying information like your social security number, or your birthday, your address, but no, not your education. H. The banks give higher interest rates to people with higher credit scores. No, that's opposite. The higher the credit score, the better. So if this were to say lower interest rates, then yes, they always give you lower interest rates if you have a better credit score. That's why credit scores are so important. So that's, yeah, that's the opposite of what we want. And the bank gives partial loans to people with strong credit. Now, once again, they've kind of flipped that. They give partial loans to weak credit, not strong credit. They'll give you the full loan. So our answer is going to be F. They want to know if you're going to pay the entire loan back on time.